Hey, Professor Black. So for this week, I'll be doing it on chapter nine. Lauren is a sophomore who is majoring in journalism and she's a reporter for the school. She's doing a story based on the policies of transferring credits. She saw, she heard around that there was an inconsistency in the credit transferring and she wanted to know how certain schools made the decision to accept certain credits. So she went on scholarly articles and she researched and she saw that most schools said that it's based on who, the advisory who's working at the register office and that they use a document, of course, equiv a course equivalently table to tell you if the credits were transferred or not. So Lauren called a, she calls her register office. She asked, she said, hey, I'm a reporter and I'm looking for, I'm looking to see if you guys have a document that you use, a course equivalently table to tell if your courses will be transferred or not from the community college at Kilpatrick Community College to Central. The lady at the register office didn't give her a yes or no answer. She kind of beat it around the bush. And Lauren was like, okay. So the next day she called, she used deception. And she said, hey, I'm a transfer student. I'm thinking of transferring from Kilpatrick Community College to Central in a year. And I want to know if these courses would be transferable. The lady at the register office was like, yeah, sure. Let me get my cheat sheet. And she said, two out of your five classes would likely be transferred. But remember, this is a unaf um." It would not be officially accepted or known until the student is a is enrolled at our school. So Lauren asks, okay, well, um, are other specific courses to other um to Kilpatrick students given or provided? The secretary said it depends on the time, the date, who's at the office, and the list, and, and it's because the list changes uh, constantly. Lauren was like, all right, and she hung up. So, John Stewart, his principal of utility, asked for you to consider the quality of your work, not the quantity. And I guess he thought, I guess he he thought that Lauren's work was more of a um a quantity based. I didn't. I felt like she used her judgment, her best judgment. If I was in her. If I was in her um, position, I would have used my same judgment and did what she did. Um, I think this made me more ethical and more aware of how decisions are made, especially like the academic, the academic environment. Um, I know now that as if, if I'm ever to get into journalism, that I have to make sure that all of my resources are or to seek the truth of an information and i think lauren seek the truth she, she sought out the truth for this she was looking to see if the school had this document available and if that was the right if that was the way that they made you know the decisions of courses being transferable um i think that lauren as a journalist she did the best that she can to seek the truth and i know that in the future if i ever became a journalist i would thrive my work on seeking the truth and only the truth and if that be a deception so be it so